running. It's easy, isn't it? All you've got to do is just put one foot in front of the other loads of times really quickly. Simple. Actually, come to think of it, I wish I knew someone that knew a little bit more about running, like an expert me. I mean, oh, or maybe a running coach like Trina Dawkins. Hi, Tom. So, Trina, what is the main difference between road running and trail running? Because obviously when you're on a road, it's just flat and tarmac, isn't it? It is, absolutely. So with road running, it's like you said, tarmac, concrete. And that's relatively easy because it's just one foot in front of the other. It's flat and you just jog. It is. And your strides will be longer. Your arm swings will be quite close to your body. And um, the movement, your chest is upright and it's quite consistent movement all the yeah. way through. Then when you look at trail running, your strides needs to be shorter because there will be climbs that you will need to do. There'll be rocks, there'll be roots, there'll be tree branches. You'll also need to pull your arms out to kind of balance yourself. I was going to say the break. balance, exactly hopping around from stones to logs, all kinds of things. Exactly. It's all about the balance and shortening your strides. And the last thing I would say is scan ahead and watch out. Just focus, be in the moment. Yeah. Look exactly where you're stepping and just be mindful because there will be fallen branches, roots and all sorts in your way. As a beginner, what three tips can you give me and anybody else, you know, tips that you wish you'd have been told before you started out on your trail running journey? So the first thing I would say is run the flats and walk the hills. I'm glad you said that. It's not a race, <laughs> so take your time. Yeah. Tip number two, what is it? I would say plan your route, don't bite off more than you can chew, and you can stay, stay local. Right. So there's trails in your local parks. Until you become familiar and comfortable, then you can kind of go on an adventure and explore wider out of that area. So you don't have to start on day one running around the whole of Snowdonia. Definitely not. We're not ready for that yet, no, if you're onto trails. And tip number three then? I would say be in the moment, enjoy the outdoors, the beautiful views, and just enjoy your time being outside. Yeah. It's not a race. Absolutely not. It's not a race. Take your time and enjoy it. Being outdoors is beautiful. Yes, it is. So when it comes to preparing for trail running or, or training, so to speak. There's not trails like this everywhere, are there? I mean, you can run out of your front door and just run along a road, but if you live in a city, say, coming across trails is quite difficult. So how can you supplement that? What, what can you do to prepare and to train for trail running? So we all love to run, but to balance it out and to complement your running, it's important that we strengthen our muscles. So strength training is great because we're out on the trails and you're using all your lower body muscles and all your upper body muscles as well. So strength training is great to so strengthen your core, your glutes, your quads, because all of those muscles are working really hard when you're out there climbing mm -hmm. and running the trails. So strength training, you can use YouTube videos, you can go to the gym, you can do body weight exercises, whatever your preference is it's really important to strengthen those joints and muscles. And as far as your, your engine, so to speak, your cardio, your breathing, I guess just normal running is good as well, isn't it? Yeah, running is great. Getting out there running is great for your endurance, so it's important to work on that. Trina, thank you very much. Do you think I'm going to make a good trail runner? Absolutely. Take your time. It's not a race and enjoy it. Yeah.